T-Speak at 222 with Swing Traders Anonymous. It's 12.32 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on the East Coast in the United States of America. We have an emergency um, state of the crypto. This is an emergency alert. I want to start out with the total crypto market cap. Um, what we do here, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that like button if you're returning or if you're just watching. And also subscribe if you're new or returning and you enjoy what you're seeing here. We start out with the total crypto market cap. Go to the BITO, or uh, Bitcoin mark, uh, dominance chart. The BITO, Tether, and then we end with the Bitcoin. So we do swing trades as well here. We've done, I want to say, 60 of them so far in the lifetime of the show. And we'll get back to them shortly. So the total crypto market cap, we had a nice little pump. Right now what we're looking to see is, because we came back up to this zone, that if you look, we created what looks to be a double bottom, but this is more of a bearish wedge. And unfortunately, the wedge is going to bring us down farther than 1.915 trillion, I believe. But we're working through this, but it really looks like we're just coming up a right shoulder. And by the time, even if we got to two point, like we're coming up here now, guys, like we're coming to the end. 2.42 trillion is where I thought we could get. And we're up here. Pushing our limits now, so I think this is a head and shoulders pattern, but I think we're about to come down way, way harder than we just did if we don't form a true double bottom, but we're going to find that out very shortly in a very short amount of time, so that's what I want you guys to watch. We have 2.42 trillion as support or resistance when we get there, and 2.222 underneath support, so it's a pretty wide gap, but as you can see, it likes to break from one to the next. The Bitcoin market cap, the dominance chart, had a terrible day. I keep telling you guys it's it's worthless. It's down 8.38% to 3105, down $2.84. That's the Bitcoin ETF. And it basically bleeds money out of the crypto markets and the altcoins, which it makes no sense why you'd want to be in crypto and you're going to dump billions of dollars into the Bitcoin uh, BITO. It's on the stock market. It's basically, you might as well buy stock. Don't kid yourself. You're not buying crypto. So, basically, what's going on here is we fell through everything. We had a prediction down here that we thought we could come back down, but I think we're going to go down farther eventually. But with the with this, we're going to have to make our some kind of catch here at some point because, well, this is the dominance chart. I don't want the dominance chart. I want the BITO real quick. But this came down right where we said and we talked about if it fell through there, could it actually come down farther? And that's exactly what happened. We came farther down than even I thought. And when I was making that prediction, we were way up there. So this none of this was even created yet when I made that first pull down. So this is what we're looking at now. So now we've got underneath support way down here at 3039. If this is a continuation of the downside, I can already tell you this is coming down to the $24 level. This, I, I told you guys, this was a... It's a nightmare. This is a nightmare. But it is creating an inverted uh, pattern here. So once it gets finished with this, it's probably going to be one hell of a game back up to $45. Just so you know. Maybe $24 would be the spot to buy. If it double bottoms here, maybe this could be a good time to buy. But shit, I wouldn't want to be a part of that shit. Bitcoin uh, market cap. <laughs> we're trying to make this reversal here. And if we can, we're going to try to contend back up here but we got to go back to the 30 minute time frame we're being rejected by it we couldn't even get up there as of right now but we're trying to get back up to 4131 so if not we've talked about this before we're, we're gonna come down and we're gonna not because we're gonna come through here but we're gonna have to retest here again at forty dollars and 71 cents and just because these are coming down that doesn't mean bitcoin and the altcoins are going crazy it just means bitcoin might be coming down a lot the altcoins are just coming down faster, and that's why it pumped, even though the entire market crashed, the dominance start pumped for Bitcoin, because the market crashed faster. Tether pumped, like we said, and now it's coming back down, but we had called this out for many weeks. I was being called a, um, people were saying I was giving out FUD, but I had called this long before this ever happened, even before it dipped the first time. And it almost drew out perfectly to what I said. It actually broke up. And everything played out exactly like we thought. Now we're trying to see if we're going to back test here. And go all the way up to about $40. That's what I think the ultimate plan is here. And this is going to help crash the entire crypto market. Bitcoin. I mean, I don't even have to say anything with Bitcoin. 
you can see what Bitcoin's doing. Looks like we're on a head and shoulders here at the one hour time frame from the crash spot. If you just look, I think we have to come back down and double bottom at worst. I mean, at best. Right now, we're in the 30 minute time frame, though. And we broke over, so we have 51,591 as resistance. We got underneath support at 50,675. But if we want to do anything, we got to make sure this run continues. We could create a head to 51,591, but I think we're on a head and shoulders here. I'm going to come down farther than we started at 41,954, I believe. I really believe that. At least we're going to come down there to double bottom. So I hope this helps. Make sure to hit the like button. I really do appreciate the shit out of each and every one of you. Like, I feel blessed beyond belief that almost 900 of you have subscribed to this beautiful channel. I'll be back tomorrow or later on today. I'm trying to put out at least one update a day, as you guys know. I'm very busy with my partnered station. Look in the video description below if you'd like to see more details about that.